Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to Cosmic Essence Education. My name is Maitri and today in this video we will be solving inequalities. So let's get started. Okay guys, let's start with the first inequality. If mod of x is less than a where a is positive, then x is greater than minus a and less than a. Let's understand, this is the number line, this is 0, this is minus a, and this is a. The distance from 0 to minus a and a both is a. Since the inequality is that x, absolute value of x should be less than a, the distance from 0 should be definitely less than a on both sides. So, of course, we will get all the values between minus a and a excluding both minus a and a since there is not an equality sign here so this is our solution second if mod of x is greater than a where a is positive then x is either less than minus a or x is greater than a Again, let's look at the number line to understand. This is 0, this is a, and this is minus a. The distance from 0 to minus a and a both is a units. So, since the distance should be greater than a, x has to be either greater than a or it has to be less than minus a such that its distance from origin is greater than a. So, this is our solution. third inequality if x square is less than a square then x is greater than minus a and less than a of course you can think that a number between minus a and a if I take the square of that number it will definitely be less than the square of a so this is the solution of that inequality fourth if x square is greater than a square then either x is less than minus a or x is greater than a again use your brain and think if x is less than minus a the square of that number will of course be greater than a square also if x is greater than a the square of that number will also be greater than a square so this is the solution of this inequality fifth if mod a is less than mod b I'm sorry if a square is less than b square then mod a is less than mod b again think if a number if a number's square is less than another number's square then definitely the absolute value of that number is less than the absolute value of this number only then can we get the square to be less than the square of this number Now, how do we solve inequalities when we have expressions, big expressions? So, solving inequalities, those points that we need to remember. First, create 0 in RHS by shifting all terms to the LHS second factorize the LHS completely third point make the sign diagram of the inequality
and fourth determine the solution from that sign diagram okay let's take an example to see how we can apply these points okay let's take examples to understand the points how do we proceed so this is our inequality first thing we do is bring all the terms to the LHS and make RHS 0 then we factorize the LHS the factorization of LHS is 2x minus 3 into x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 now we make a sign diagram of this inequality so make a take a number line mark the zeros here 3 by 2 and minus 1 I'm sorry minus 1 and 3 by 2 we mark the zeros on the number line now we look where the inequality is positive and where it is negative so for when x is greater than 3 by 2 greater than 3 by 2 this will be positive this will also be positive positive into positive will be positive so on this side for this interval inequality is positive when x is between minus 1 and 3 by 2 this will be negative whereas this will be positive negative into positive will be negative so this will be negative here here when x is less than minus 1 this will be negative this will also be negative so when both are negative it will result in a positive LHS so since our inequality is that it should be greater than or equal to 0 our solution will be that x belongs to minus infinity in this interval minus infinity to minus 1 close bracket union union means or or x can be in this interval so close interval 3 by 2 to infinity this is our solution let's look at another example now if this is uh, in this one all the terms are in the LHS and the RHS is zero, uh, from the starting so we just have to start with factorization factorize the numerator factorization gives us uh, x square minus 7x plus 12 that will be x x minus 3 into x minus 4 upon x plus 2 less than 0 now make the sign diagram on the number line mark the zeros now mark the signs so when x is greater than 4 this will be positive positive and positive positive upon positive will result in positive here it will be negative this will be positive and this will be negative so the solution will be since we want less than 0 the solution will be x belongs to the interval minus infinity to minus 2 open bracket since the equality sign is not there union open bracket 3 2 4 and this will be a solution for the inequality So, we looked at how to solve inequalities in this video. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like these. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Also guys, let me know the kind of videos that you want to see and the topics that you want me to cover in the next videos. It will be really good to me, for me to know your comments and your suggestions because in that way I can make videos that you really want to see and 
it will be a win-win situation for both of us.